Brittany Briars here, and in today's video, as you can tell, we are going to be unboxing another bean! But we actually have two boxes here. Wow, I'm really struggling to not show my address, it's fine. Everything got released at the same time, but then I decided to add in a little surprise. So I've got the Collector Club model, who I don't remember the name of, the Stablemate Club model, who I don't remember who it was, and then also the St. Patrick's Day plushie, who I'm really excited about. We're gonna start out with the plushie and then work our way to the bigger box. So without any further ado, y'all, I have let these guys sit on my stairs for like two days because I wanted to film an unboxing video. I have not had like any time to film, so again, I'm super busy right now. It's fine. Flight school and riding, wow, takes up all my time. That's okay. I'm doing it now. Let's dive in. Briar's plushies are always so cute and I have a little collection of them. So when I saw this bean, I knew I had to add him. He's so funny looking and like not even funny haha, -ha, just funny weird and like I love him for that. So here he is in his little bag and then once we get him out, we can just fluff him up a little bit. Oh my god, he's so cute. Look at him. Look at this man. <laughs> So his name is Kelly O'Brien. He's got his little hang tag. He actually, it's really hard to see. He has like this little leather necklace and he's got his beard and on his hoof it says Briar and he's literally so, so cute. This man's is about to become my travel buddy. So for now, I'm gonna chill back here. All right. On to the big box. So this is going to have my collector club model and my stable mate club model because even though I told myself I'm not doing the stable mate club, I signed up for it anyway because they're so cute. I have problems, y'all. I literally have problems. So here we go. Let's open them. The little stable mate box, which will open first, and then the collector club model, which will open second. I don't know if I've ever actually opened any of the Stablemate Club ponies on my YouTube channel. I know that I always order them separately, so I think I just kind of open them up on my own. So this might be my first one, and that's really exciting. <gasps> Look at how cute the box is this year. So this is the box that says Briar 2023 Stablemates Collector Club. Okay, yeah, I was like, I feel like it's a Marin Full, but I don't remember. So it should be the Arabian Marin Full on the Vintage Arabian Mold, <laughs> which is one of my absolute favorite stable molds. So here we have the little foal who's laying down, and this is actually my very first one on this mold, and it is so cute! Oh my goodness! His little chunky little face. He's so small, and you're really not gonna be able to see him. So we'll get a close-up of him in a second, but first. We gotta open his mom. I have one on this mold and she's literally my favorite stable mate. So I'm very excited to have a little sister for her. And ah, she's so cute. It's just something about this mold is literally adorable to me. And it actually looks just like the It looks just like the thoroughbred mare mold. And like, that's one of my favorite traditional molds. And like, now I know why I like this one. <laughs> I never put two and two together until I just looked at her. So I'll show y'all that comparison in a second. But these guys are so cute. I'm literally so happy that I joined the Step Mate Club again. After I told myself I wasn't going to, but uh, that's okay. All right, y'all need a close-up. Ah! All right, y'all need a close-up of these adorable little beats. So let's get to it. All right, y'all. So here is an overview of Kelly O'Brien and the little Marin Full set. So we're going to start out with Kelly. This is we opened it first. He does have a adorable a little shamrock coat pattern and then he's got his amazing bright orange mane and tail that also match his eyebrows and his beard. If we move his beard just a little bit you can see that he's got a fancy little black leather in the gold leather necklace. He looks like a, a happy little leprechaun. Just look at this man. All right now that we've seen Kelly let's check out the mare and foal. Look at them. Oh my goodness y'all they are so cute. Okay so this is my very first one on the mold for this full and he is so small and so cute. He's a super dark bay and he's got two little white socks in the back and then a little white star on his face. And then his mom is a chestnut and she is so pretty. Look at her. She's on my favorite stable mate mold which happens to look 
just like one of my favorite traditional molds, which is the thoroughbred mare. And y'all look, the resemblance is literally crazy. I can't believe I've never noticed this before, but that would probably explain why that's one of my favorite stable mate molds. All right, and then we'll just get a look at the backside of them. The foal is laying down, so there's not much going on back here. And the mom is one solid color, so not too much different on this side, except for her mane does fall on this side, and she's just so cute. All right, hopefully y'all enjoyed your close-up of these cuties and also Kelly O'Brien. Isn't he awesome? What the heck? So now we are on to the main part of this video, which is unboxing my Collector Club model. I straight up don't remember this guy's name, but here we are. The anticipation. Mm, he's gonna be so pretty. Give me that bean. Gotta open the pony. Oh my gosh, there's so much bubble wrap, which like I respect, but. He's so dark. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, he's so pretty. <laughs> I'm not even a glossy collector and I tell myself that, but I am starting to collect more glossies and this guy, high key adorable. a lot of people posting that the quality control on this guy was not very good, but I think I got a really, really nice one. He's super dark. Okay, one, the Fireheart mold is literally so pretty. And this dark Dapple Bay, stunning. Oh my goodness. Like this guy is so handsome. And I'm gonna just go out on a whim here. This foal looks like he could belong to him, but I mean, obviously not. But like, he looks like this was him as a foal, except for like the face marking. So maybe this is just his child. I I don't know. Maybe he shrinks. But y'all, this guy is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Why is he literally so handsome? I have my Fireheart named Hiccup, but this looks more like Hiccup. So I think I'm changing this guy's name to Hiccup and my Fireheart's just gonna be named something different because this looks like Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. What are you gonna do? All right, y'all need a close up of this hottie. So let's get to it. And here we are for the main event, y'all. This guy is stunning. I am literally obsessed and I don't even like glossies that much, but y'all, this guy is chef's kiss. He's amazing. All right, so I think we kind of all know what the Fireheart mold looks like at this point, but we're gonna get a close up of his details because this guy is so cute. So on his face, he does have a very wide blaze and look at how cool it is. They gave it all this cool little detail. So it comes out in these little swoops. He does have nose pinking, which is so cute. He does not have tri-colored eyes. I kind of wish that they did that, but that's okay. I feel like Briar's MO is to usually not do them. His mane is solid black and just so wild and so much fun. His coat is so dark and then it gets a little bit lighter at his shoulder and his chest and on his barrel so you can see those amazing dapples. Look at how glossy he is, oh my gosh. As we work our way to his flank, he does get darker and then obviously being a bay, his legs are much darker than the rest of him. So his front legs are just solid black and then his back legs both have these super cute little socks just like the little stable mate fall that we were looking at. Here he is head on and y'all, oh my gosh, I wish he was a real horse, he is so pretty. All right, here's an overview of his offside. Since he is a solid dapple bay, this side is not much different, so I'll just give you a quick little overview of it. I feel like he actually has more dapples on this side than he does on his show side, and you can just see how absolutely stunning those dapples are. Look at that. His front legs again, just solid black, and then the back legs have the two little socks. And here's that booty shot for anybody who needed it. Overall, I am literally blown away with the amount of detail that Briar put on this guy and the coat color of him is so amazing. They knocked this guy out of the park. I'm actually really glad that they made him glossy this time around because that made his coat color really pop. All right, hopefully y'all enjoyed your close up of Hiccup because I don't remember his Briar given name. It's gonna be in the title of this video, so like it's gonna be there, but at the current time, I don't remember, but it's okay. Oh my goodness. If y'all can find this guy secondhand, 
because I believe he's already sold out. I highly recommend him. He is literally gorgeous, but don't let people price gouge you because there are thousands of this guy that exist. Oh, he's so pretty. I don't even collect glossies and I just unboxed three of them. What's going on? All right, y'all, so that's actually been the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, please go ahead and slap that like button as hard as you possibly can show this YouTube video and all of my new beats a little bit of loaf. Also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore briars. I am super active on there. I don't post daily right now, but I do post daily on my stories, so that should count for something. <laughs> don't forget to hit that subscribe button and or ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload because at one point I will get better at this. Don't worry, y'all. Flight school and horseback riding has been taking up literally all of my time, but that's okay because at one point I'll make videos. If you want to see either of my horses or want to see me flying, follow me on Instagram because I post all about that on my Instagram stories and it's so much fun. Like the other day, I flew over my horses and they were outside in their pastures and I was like, ah, there's my best friends as I flew over in my plane. So that was fun. I'm going to go make this bean a halter set because that's the new trend is everybody who comes into the herd has to help make a halter. So he gets to help make something and possibly them. I don't know what they're going to make, but they can make something. <laughs> so other than that, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye! Ah, who are you? Uh, oh, Jedi! Oh my... Loki! Oh, where'd you come from? Who are you? I love you guys. Alright, look, I don't have a lot of time, okay? I'm a time traveler. I came here from the future. Like thousands of years from now. I I'm your great, 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 great grandson. So I don't marry Loki? What? No, you do. What? Yeah, you're both my great, 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 great. Ah, so we don't have time for this. Okay. Look, tomorrow you need to make sure that you- Hmm, that that's unfortunate. He didn't get a finish. So where do you think our wedding's gonna be?